Virginia is recognized for one minute to address the House. Mr. Speaker, in a year when, for the first time in memory, the Pelosi Congress is failing to adopt a budget, I'm proud to co-sponsor a spending limit amendment that would place a cap on federal government spending. Tax rates go up and down, tax laws change, the economy changes, but in the past six decades, federal tax receipts have stayed consistent at nearly 20 percent of GDP. In a Wall Street Journal op-ed on last Monday, economist David Ranson explained this effect. He notes, quote, the tax base isn't just something you can kick around at will. It represents a living economic system that makes its own collective choices, end quote. In other words, we can't fight against the natural level of maximum taxation. If we raise taxes, we won't collect enough to reduce our deficit, and we will restrain economic growth. We've been living outside of our means, borrowing and spending and bailing out for far too long. The spending limit amendment, based on economic reality, is a sensible measure that will keep our government in check. I yield back. For what purpose does the general